time to share some thoughts again. I'm in heaven, N not because I died, uh, but because I say so. This week was amazing for me because I remembered. I remembered that the illusion of our life can actually give me the freedom of choice that I want to decide what do I want to fill my reality up with. Oh, that sounds totally out there. Um, you know, I was, I, I make it grounded. I was dancing on the beach, but not any kind of dance. It was a class um, that I participated in that taught me Hawaiian dance. And that was always, Hawaii was always special to me and it still is. And the energy and the old wisdom. So when we did this dance on the ocean with the feet in the sand, I remembered how I felt uh, when I was on a Pali coast or when I felt when I was connected to nature, a special place in Hawaii or certain people. And this is reality. So remembering this and also tuning in into this. I imagined that the ocean where I'm at, it's not Long Beach, it is Hawaii. And I'm dancing like um, I've always danced. That was my Im imagination, Hawaiian dance. So this became reality. And I followed then the, the teacher and felt totally in bliss. And I thought once again, you know, if we have to um, live in an illusion anyway, it's actually really totally self-empowering to decide for yourself what kind of illusion should that be? And is it then really an illusion? And when I had this, and it didn't matter anymore, that was the thing. It didn't matter anymore if I was really in Hawaii or not. And a few years ago, I really, it, I suffered a lot from not being able to travel for a while and not to go, being able to go back to Hawaii. And it felt like the end of all years and the end of life in itself and of existence. And, and this is so important because it's not just with these kind of things, it's with everything. There is no end when I decide so. So I'm in heaven because I say so. I'm, I'm, I use my imagination and my imagination is as real as what I sometimes consider real. You know, sometimes I don't know how you are, but uh, for me, it's real what I see, what's in front of, of me. Of course, I know it's not just that. But, you know, you can get lost in that, in that kind of illusion. And it's the same when you, when you sleep and when you, when you have a dream. So the question is sometimes, and I have a friend who actually talked about this uh, yesterday to me, I don't know anymore. You know, the dreams are so real and... Uh, so what's the what's the dream and what is real, and I think it's really up to our own consciousness, awareness, and choice. What's real? At the end, it might all be an illusion, and it might all be real, and then it doesn't matter anymore. What I where I want to go with this is that I notice that I can be in this joy in this joy that I thought I have to miss just because I can't be uh, in on Kauai in the North Shore or something like that. No, the joy, I, I, I brought the joy in and, and this joy overcomes everything. I noticed all of a sudden I can do everything that I really, really, really want and just because it's in just in, in my imagination, that doesn't mean that it is not 
valuable, it's not worthy because it did the same thing with me. So when I say this, this is um, something that we can remember in times of um, thirst and hunger. You know, may it, it might be a, a thirst and hunger on a spiritual level or on a real physical level or love or fulfillment in life and we can create it. Thanks for listening.